Hello. <laughs> so you start off the show, boys. In a pre-show, we have our newly crowned Girls Aloud champion, Rebecca Lynch. Defeat entire. Yeah, we're on the pre-show, boys. With a hard knocks. 87. What a, what a lass. 69. That, yeah, way. And, and a 68 in pool, a performance from Tyre, but no one cares. Yeah, it's because she's lovely. <laughs> oh, mate. In another Christ pre-show match. Uh, <laughs> Christian leaving the company, on the way he came in, on his back. Don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> in a pre-show. Oh, yeah, and we're in a new location as well, so we have to remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in, like, might, uh, the, uh, that's why the ratings might be down a bit. Yeah, and there's less and, like, people. And there's less people, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we've got to mention something. Bloody oh, yeah. Scottish beat up Joey. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, it wasn't Joey's fault. Scottish bastard was being a bastard and beat up <laughs> Joey backstage. Scottish so you, bastard you, was being we a were bastard. Like, <laughs> we were like, mate, you can't touch Joey. He has a 10 year contract at this company. You do not touch him. So we sacked him. <laughs> Yeah. That's Sorry. it. Let's go on to the main bit. Oh my god! Jesus. 99! <laughs> Mate. Jesus. This is what happens when you put Joey, Hulk, Kev, Omega, Blobby, and Sting all in one room. WWE, book it in real life. Yeah. So NWO come out. I Joey does be a bit awkward with, with uh, Mr. Blobby, but yeah. Freaking! Freaking! Blobby, Sting, you get your asses out here now. And then he goes, I've got it here, brother. No, you listen here, brother. My boy Joey's title was stolen last night, brother. <coughs> oh, I need a drink. <laughs> Hulkamania voice, it hurts, all right? This is what I put, I swear I put myself through for this episode all the time. You listen here, brother. He wants his title back. And that vigilante freak. Dog nicked his title. He is the Lucha Underground champion, and he just demands respect, brother. And then Big Kev, Kev takes the microphone and goes, "Yeah, respect." R E S P K T. And then Hulkamania <laughs> goes, "That's not how you spell it, brother." And he goes, Oops. "Yeah, respect." <laughs> <laughs> So then Mr. Blobby comes out. Do 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 Sting massaging him obviously. And he says, We understand your annoyance, um, NWO, but there's nothing we can do about it. Pentagon Dark is a menace. He does what he wants when he wants. He's a vigilante. Much like my masseuse here, Sting, was back in the day. Like a hand all changes at the bottom. We've got to turn Pentagon Dark, mate. I don't care if it goes bad. It will go bad, but... Doesn't matter. Don't care. Had to happen. Oops. Had to happen. Alright, there we go. Next. So, that's that. Oh, boys. Debuting our new superstar, in a way. New gimmick. The Traffic Fuji Man. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we haven't got big fans of Nomuchi because we've ruined him. <laughs> so we cut outside, outside the Cadet Ice Arena, and we see there's been a car crash. Just a little scrape, nothing, not, nothing too serious. And we're here to report with the traffic Fuji man. I am here. Who's up? Taz and Joey, I am outside the Cadet Ice Arena, and I am reporting a car crash. And who gets out of the other car? Aerostar. He's like, what the hell have you done, man? Look at my car. I'm meant to be in the arena. I've got a match tonight. And then Fuji goes, back to you, Taz and Joey. <laughs> so, you know, what? a handle changes. Gimmick, in it? The traffic man gimmick. How's he do? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Mantanza eats Tajiri. Work improvements next. <laughs> Nothing happens. He just beats them out. Look at it. that, man. And next, mate, I don't want to look at it. How the fuck was he fatigued? Jeez, he... It lasted three fucking minutes. No, because I, he would have been tired going into it because he works for other companies. Yeah, <laughs> he wasn't actually. tired from the match. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> mate, oh yes, he's back, boys. 
Phoenix. I think this is his full return, isn't it? Yeah, surely. I think so. We knew he was back, and he comes out, and he has a stare down with Mantanta, and just points at the championship, letting he him know. It back. Yeah, we as we know, Phoenix never got pinned for that title or submitted. He had to relinquish it through injury, so he wants it back, boys. Wants it back. Oh, speaking of boys, <laughs> the boys are backstage and they are celebrating their victory last night at uh, Lucha March On. <laughs> and uh, Brent is the one that's injured, I think, and he's celebrating with them as well. And he's like, "Ah, oh, they're like, oh, I can't wait till you're back in action and we can uh, uh, have our freeway matches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, then from out of nowhere... Johnny Mundo, Bad News Barrett, and the new friend, Mil Martez, because their other friend was naughty and got sacked. <laughs> so, yeah. Johnny Mundo and his crew still not liking the arrival of the boys. <laughs> oh, and then we got into the ring. The Bucks are talking about how, you know, they've defeated Team 3D. They've defeated Edgy and Christian. They've defeated Rocky Trench. They've done it all, and there is no more tag teams in this company left. So, they have decided that they're going to have an open challenge, in a way, where how many tag teams want can come out and have a match, and the winner will get to challenge them at next month's pay-per-view. Which what teams come out? Yet. Yeah, we haven't decided yet. We got, you know. And the annoying team, Rocky Trench, the winning team, but they didn't win. And Big Daddy Kev and Hulk Hogan boys uh, all come out and Big Daddy Kev and Hulk Hogan pick up the victory. We, as you can see, we are struggling for tag teams. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, uh, uh, the annoying team got a 21 and 34. Oh no, the winning team got 19 and 28. Big Daddy Kev and Hulk got 52 and 45 and Rocky Trench got 58, 53. Hulk Hogan picking up the victory there. Oh, don't look at the negatives, don't. <laughs> uh, then we go into a... Just a, sort match. of a... Yeah, power Ooh, rankings match. slash number one contender match. Uh, King Kong, Natty Hart, Trinity and Talia have a fatal four-way. King Kong picking up the win, defeating Talia Sky. With an amazing press. Uh... She got 63, 52, 44, and a 32 for Tanya. Rebecca Lynch was that commentary. Jeez. Oh, look, uh, performance skills for Kong. Rumble for Hart. Flying for Sky. And technical for Uso. All different skills for all different people. Good stuff. <laughs> and then we have a little stare down in the ring with Rebecca. Oh, no, we don't. I'm a liar. King Kong. Uh, Rebecca goes in the ring to congratulate King Kong and Owen, and she punches her right in the face. And she spits on her and uh, farts in her face. Farts on her. Edge! Oh, and then Edge, we cut backstage, Edge mocks Christian for how he's made him have to retire. And probably ended his career once and for all. That's that, boys. Ah, oh, I knew it, boys. I knew it, boys. In an exceptional match, Kenny Omega defeated Phoenix in 24-57 by pinfall with a big trigger after a distraction from Mantanza. Joey was at ringside, you know, just talking about how great Kenny is. Phoenix got 79. 84 from Omega, I mean, uh, any negatives? Look at that. If we had good storyline heat, you know, B plus possibly. Oh, and then uh, MWA come out to celebrate, but then we hear, I don't know what Pentagon Nog's music is, so I'm going to make it up. Sounds like a whale. <laughs> <laughs> and then him in the Bucks come out and clear house and stand tall to end. Lucha Underground. 
good uh, good uh, segment. Look Fuck at that. It, how did our show get 82? Because we're good, mate. Strong ending. Strong ending, mate. That's, that's what it was. Yeah. There we go, boys. Hope you enjoyed. Took us about half an hour with the book. <laughs> we'll see you later. Later, boys. <laughs>